Good afternoon everyone, I'm back and I'm going to uh, I'm going to check out this stuff. This is what I was talking about. Ooh, where are you? Oh, there you are. This is what I was talking about. It's the, um, the book binders glue, but it's archival and uh, it, it dries flexible. I'll read it for you guys. Okay, it says, oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry, I'm going to keep this in there. This is for later when I'm old and I do all my bloopers. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, let me get the lid. <laughs> I just love it. Oh, you guys are going to fall off your chair laughing I'm pretty sure of it <laughs> okay um, okay what it says it says uh, okay multi-purpose white PVAC glue uh, this strong glue is transparent when dry and remains flexible moisture proof and solvent free Okay, glue on this and this and that. Okay, also uh, suitable for making scrapbooks, preparing canvases, and as a binding agent for paint. Aha! Uh -huh. So, you can make paint with this stuff. I kind of like it. It's a kind of cool and it's a kind of cheap and it's so cheap that I don't even worry if I pour it all over the table. <laughs> So, I thought I would show uh, show you guys, uh, because this is the video with all the um, the action paint, and that's, uh, someone asked me to do that, this is action paint, and I have to turn around the, uh, the iPad, I hope it's, uh, it's going to work with me, whoops, like that, yes it did, uh oh, no it didn't, or did it? No, I don't think so. I think I got you guys. Okay, I'll have to do it like this. The thing is that my uh, the camera thing is on the right, uh, wrong side, but that'll work. I'll just have to um, do it like here because uh, the camera is in the corner. So I still have two colors to mix. So I have the blue. And what I do is just put some in here, just like that, because I'm not going to use pouring medium. I'm going to use um, only the uh, book binders glue seal. Take off the seal, and it's about 50/50. That's what I'm doing, and I have. Uh, all these pretty bright colors because I really wanted some um, spring colors because it's so sunny. Can you even see what I'm doing? Yes, you can. Okay, this is the blue. And when you start to stir, when you put the, the glue in there, um, it's pretty uh, stiff. But as soon as you put some water in there, it goes... Just like the Amsterdam acrylics, it gets nice and smooth. You have to make sure you get this, the sides. And the bottom. And then, see how it streams off the, off the stick? That is excellent. Then I put in a little bit of silicone. And I stir the silicone in. And the only thing I'm going to do in a little bit is add some more um, white. Because I don't think I have enough white. So I'm getting the next one. Pouring some in. Stop. And um, I think it would be a good idea if you uh, if you have this stuff that you put it in an old bottle of the Liquitex pouring medium, so that it's easier to dose. Because right out of one of those big 
clunky uh, kind of um, pots that doesn't really work. Here we go. And I don't know, maybe this is good stuff to make paint with because, you know, just two or three stirs and it's already mixed in with the paint. That is kind of unbelievable. So I'm really uh, enjoying this. Uh, I just hope it makes tons of cells because that would be really cool. So what I have is a white, I have pink, I have a very, very uh, bright green and I have a bright blue and then this brown because you do have to have a, like one new, neutral color and I have no clue if this is transparent or opaque or whatever it is I don't have a clue see how it runs off the uh, off the stick that's great so okay I'm gonna take you guys off this little stand I have there we go. And these are the colors that I'm using. So everyone in Holland, Germany, France, they know this uh, brand because it's from the dollar store. So it has, how much is in here? 250 milliliters and it's 175. So that is really cheap. These are the colors I have. So here it is mixed in. There we are, five colors, five cups, and I'm going to stop this video now, and I'm going to put you guys up there so you can uh, see it better. There's uh, the mess I made. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't stop laughing about it. I think that is pretty funny. So, uh, See you later, and uh, this is going to be real fast because I'm going to stick these videos together. So, um, see you. And there I am again. So, I uh, got the donation list all uh, updated. So, making a little room because I thought, you know, I was going to do a little uh, canvas, but I have so much paint, I'm going to do a bigger canvas. I think that'll work. Because I'm going to do a flip cup in the middle, and then I'm going to do some pours around the uh, the middle. So I'd like to thank all the uh, donators. New, no, there's the sponsors. I, I have to uh, adjust this because the, you guys are sponsoring my channel. So thank you all sponsors for what you're doing for me, and I really appreciate it. So there we go. So I'm going to do a big canvas. This is pretty big. Right, so I'll take uh, away this, and it is going to flicker just a little bit because it's a lot of white on the table. But I'll just um, put it aside a little bit and pour pour the paint and make sure that it's uh, there's some color on the canvas right away. So I'm putting in all these colors. the pink and the green and this might you know just not work out at all because of this uh, the book binders glue you never know but we'll see so a full cup for the uh, for the middle pour just like that a little bit more green I like that green and that's I got the pins in the side Still turning it around. There we are. And there it goes. Ooh, the brown is taking over quite a bit. I should get another little stir stick. That is a lot of canvas that I still have to fill, so we'll see what it does. I'll just tilt it a little bit, just like that. Ooh, that's cool. It's really sliding over the uh, over the canvas. There's still a lot of air bubbles in there, so then some more.
and I didn't expect that brown to take over so much that's a lot so when you're using these colors don't do the brown too much I might even just not put brown in this cup at all see how that works out and I can always make some more right just one little stir like this I think I, I'm gonna do it right through the middle just like that there we go and I'm gonna let it run off I'll pick it up uh, later with the uh, palette knife Okay, that's cool. And I will be needing more paint though. But there's not much uh, cell activity going on all by itself. So that is kind of strange because I was expecting that. But I am going to torch this side because I have no way, nowhere near enough paint. I can see what I can still get out of these cups, but without the brown, I don't think there's much going to be going on. a little bit a little stir There's still a lot on there. It'll go over each other. Okay, time to get the uh, palette knife. Where is my palette knife? There it is. Um, this is just an experiment with this paint. I don't mind that this has gone a little bit brown. That doesn't matter. We'll just look at the top, right? I'm not going to sell this anyway. Because I don't like the really cheap paints. I don't want to sell those. There we go. All covered. doing the sides of it just like that okay we have enough it's covered now I'm gonna get the torch how long has this been going oh not that long Got to torch it uh, a, li a little bit longer than you're uh, accustomed to, but it's only because it's a really big uh, canvas. Okay, I see I'm seeing some nice stuff. Here we go. I'll take you guys down so you can see it. Uh, gloves. No, I'll take the gloves off. 
just like that. Okay. Okay, what's happening with the paint? Here's some nice cell, uh, cell action going on. There we are. Those are the dogs, the neighbors have a lot of dogs. Someone goes uh, in the, uh, through the garden gate, they go crazy. Okay guys, tell me what you think. That's where the brown is a bit. Meh. This is pretty, the pink, you know, pink going through the white and the brown. Then here the, nee. I'm not too fond of it. There are some really small bits that are really cute. Let's see if I can get you up close. See like this? I think that's okay. Let me see what I like. Mm, this, this, let's see, this bit. That light green with the white, I like that. And let's see up here. That's kind of pretty. This is kind of pretty. I think uh, this would be something, um, a, a nice background. Let me get you up, up away. Come on, focus, please. I think you could do something with, uh, with this as a background, but not as a painting just like this on the wall. I don't like it. But I think you could put like a, a really huge Mandela on it, something like that. Or like Natasha, she could put a really beautiful dot painting over it. I'm still not zen enough to do a dot painting. You, know, you really have to be really nice and calm to do that. But I think uh, there's potential in this to use it as a, as a background. I might even do a couple of uh, macro shots. Something here, like this, this very bright yellow, or this. Okay, you've seen enough. <laughs> okay. I am uh, going to see if my um, round canvas is dry yet. And then I'm going to do the second part of the round canvas with all the pearl colors on it. So um, this is it for the uh, very cheap paint. The paint from the action. I promised I'd do it and I kept my promise. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.